In this lesson, we'll talk about how to multiply a sum and difference of two terms. Now, here's what I mean by a sum and difference. Sum refers to a plus sign, and difference refers to a minus sign. So, the two terms you'll notice are the same in each set of parentheses, but in the first set of parentheses, there's a sum, and in the second set, there's a minus. So, a, a sum and a difference. All right, now it's still two terms times two terms, so let's use the FOIL method on it. We're going to see that if we do a few of these, we'll notice a shortcut that we can take that will make the job easier. So first times first is x squared. Outer times outer is going to be minus 4x. Inner times inner is going to be plus 4x. And last times last is going to be minus 16. Now if you look at the two middle terms, you'll see that I have negative 4x and plus 4x, which adds up to 0. So that will leave us with x squared minus 16 for our final answer. And I want us to do a couple more. Uh, here I've got x plus 9 times x, not, x minus 9. Now make sure that you do have the same two terms in each set of parentheses and that one is a plus and one has a minus. And then let's use the FOIL method. First times first is x squared. Outer times outer is minus 9x. Inner times inner is plus 9x. And last times last is minus 81. Now the two middle terms are equal but opposite, so they're going to add up to zero. And our final answer here is x squared minus 81. On this last example, first times first is 9x squared. Outer times outer is plus 15x. Inner times inner is minus 15x. And last times last is minus 25. Now, the two middle terms are going to add up to zero and we get 9x squared minus 25. Now in each of these examples, I want you to notice that the two middle terms are always the same but opposite. And that's because if the two parentheses are the same except for their sign, then outer is always going to be one sign and inner is always going to be the other sign, but they're going to be made of the same factors. So they're always going to cancel each other out. Now, if we can recognize the problem in advance, why should we bother writing out the two middle terms when we know they're going to add up to zero? And the answer is we shouldn't bother doing that. So that's a shortcut we can take. So on these next few examples, I want us to not write the two middle terms, but take advantage of skipping the, the outer plus inner because it adds up to zero. Now, you need to make sure you know how to recognize these problems because I've seen a lot of students try to take this shortcut on problems that it didn't apply to. And so I think knowing the shortcut is just as important as knowing when to take the shortcut. So you need to have a sum and a difference, and the two terms in each parentheses need to be exactly the same. So first times first would be x squared. Skip the outer plus inner. Last times last would be minus 64. All right, now we will multiply these four examples together. So here we go. First times first is 16. Skip the outer plus inner. Last times last is going to be negative 9y squared. Next example. First times first is 4x to the second. Skip the outer plus inner. Last times last is minus 49. First times first will be 9x times 9x, so that's 81x squared. Skip the outer plus inner. Last times last will be minus 25. And on this last one, first times first will be y squared times y squared, so that's y to the fourth. Skip the outer plus inner. Last times last is minus 4. That's all there is to it. And I really encourage you to get very familiar with these because they come 
they come up a lot in later problems that you're going to see in your later algebra courses and it's really good to just be able to glance at them and know the answer immediately.